Mark, uh, another nice newcomer uh, on paper, it would seem, coming from your stable this Wednesday night in the shape of Super Charizard in race number three. Um, he's got a few people um, talking about him. He's, he's trialled nicely. Yeah, he's got good trial form and it's been confirmed on race day. Um, Call Me Glorious came out and looked pretty impressive on uh, on Sunday. Uh, he was placed behind him in a, in a straight trial here at Shah Tin. Uh, he's been to Happy Valley a couple of times and handled it well, um, so he goes there in good shape. Was that always the thinking to take him there a couple of times? I mean, it seems like a, a slightly unusual move compared to some to, to go there twice before a debut. Oh, look, he had a fair gap between trials and the race I'd picked out for him, so I uh, didn't think it would do him any harm. And the the morning he went there, the first time he led, and I think he's a better horse taking a sit, so um, we went back there and rode him um, in, a, in a manner that uh, I think he'll be best in his races, and uh, he closed off the trial well. Have the reports from, from your riders been, been positive on him? I mean, on paper and, and visually, it looks like he's, uh, he's going really nicely. Yeah, he's a nice horse, and he, he's been that way since uh, I had him. I actually had him in my Sydney stable for a while, and then, uh, then I, uh, I moved him to a stable when I came here, and he had one trial in Australia, and he won that um, before we brought him over. So he's always been quite a nice horse. Tell us, from a trainer's perspective, um, you're quite keen on this family. I think you bought this guy. You're telling me that you bought the brother as well? Yeah, just at the recent um, uh, New Zealand Ready to Run sale. So um, his full brother went through. Very similar type of horse um, and, and breezed up quite similar. So um, you know, hopefully he turns out as nice. Expectations on debut, I guess. You know, you'd be hoping for a decent showing, given what he's done. Yeah, he'll run very well. Um, at a thousand, I, I look. I wanted. To, I didn't really want to start him off at twelve hundred yet. Um, that would be my only query. They might be a little sharp for him, but uh, everything he's shown today, you know, he's going to make the grade here. Actually, just one final question. The family, having a look at the pedigree, they do get that bit further, don't they? Yeah, and I think, look, it was just more important for him, just a good starting point. And, um, and look, he'll build up in distance, but um, it looks a nice race for him. Pierre, healthy, healthy, is your runner in race five on Wednesday night. He's a horse who's having a really good season. Yeah, he already had uh, a couple of wins and uh, he was quite unlucky last time uh, with the last strike and uh, hopefully he can um, bring back the win uh, that he had last time. Great to see him obviously bounce back to that form last time having run ninth by co-partner Ambition. Um, the handicap has put him up a couple of pounds. Do you still envisage there's a bit more to come from this guy on what, what he's done so far? I think uh, he's still improving um, as time goes by and um, wait doesn't worry him too much with the size um, so we got a good draw nice draw um, hopefully um, he can just um, do what he did last time just having a look at the race on paper Pierre there's a, there's a whole load of pace I mean the likes of you know superb capitalist is in there amongst others as well all is good can race forward so with your horse is he the type that potentially could take a sit if they do go sort of you know hard in front oh he, he, he has tried to take a sit before and finish off um, with that pace um, tomorrow night I think we just um, ride him just be quiet to build up build up his momentum into the straight and hopefully he finishes strong he does look at a nice chance in the race. Um, as for looking ahead, now the entries are out for the Queen's Silver Jubilee. We're here at the trials this morning, of course. You've, you've trialled Taj Dragon. He's one of two entries in the race for you, along with Galaxy Patch. How, how happy were you with his trial? I'm over the moon with him um, already. He got a good free for us um, this season, and hopefully we can have a great result in the Group 114. I mentioned you've also got Galaxy Patch, of course. He's a horse who's been in wonderful form and has rocketed up sort of through the racings. Um, a big step forward for a horse like him, Pierre, but I know you've always considered him to be a top liner. Yeah, he definitely has the potential to be top one. Um, we just have how we managed to put him through that. Um, we put, put him for a thousand meter race this Sunday to make him much more settled for the race next week. Um, so hopefully he can get, get a group one to prove him at, at this level and to be a nicer horse um, in the future. Be nice to take on horses like Lucky Swain S and Co, wouldn't it, with a horse like him, and perhaps even try and beat them? Yes, um, yeah, he's a good crack, and um, we need to prove it. And uh, hopefully, we, we can we can be close to them, you know. Jerry Chow, you're a man very much in good form. You'll be hoping that continues on Wednesday night. You've got some some nice rides. Probably the nicest of them is Super Joy and Fun in race number six. A winner on debut. That was a, a very smart performance, Jerry. Yeah, he um, in the track work is show a bit uh, green, still very green, and and still baby. But in the race, he he shows speed and and he he won the race good last time. Yeah. 
just to sort of elaborate on the performance, I mean, he, he broke from the gates very quickly, didn't he? We, we always sort of confident that he would do that. I mean, he, he's, like you say, he'd shown a little bit in his track work, but you, were, you know, to bring it to the race course is a slightly different thing, isn't it? Yeah, and, and the, the good thing is he, he, he jumped well and, and he always can be, be in forward and, and get a good position. And, to, and um, the, the draw is, is OK, seven, and, and he can be um, flexible for him uh, to be forward and, and get some cover if yeah, possible. When the other horse came to you, Jerry, um, Beauty Infinity, I mean, your, your guy showed a, a great attitude, didn't he, to, to battle on and win the race? Yeah, when when the horse coming and and feel like he he go again and and I think Cas Four he's a very competitive horse and hope he can keep improving because in track work he's still very green and and yeah. Has the, how how has the horse come on for his his debut win? Obviously you've ridden him in, in track work. Has his has his track work been pleasing you? Um, he he tried to um, looking around something and try to shy away and and. But this uh, the young horse is always like that, and, and he will improve. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, oh, he looks like he will certainly improve. Uh, as for you, Jerry, obviously you um, you came out on top in what was an absolute thrilling finish on the weekend, Universal Horizon. The winners keep coming for you. Um, you're in good form. Did did you think you'd won that race on the weekend? I mean, there was about seven or eight of them across the line. Um, honestly, I I don't think I I win really the race because it's so close, and I I did one mistake. I I dropped my wing. Uh, at the 200 meter, and and these are, um, if I lose, I I'm, I can't sleep. <laughs> but uh, but great for you, obviously the winners keep coming. Benno's horses are in good form, so obviously you must be pleased with the way things are at the moment. Yeah, and now it's everything well, and and the Sunday, um, Chu Chu be and running in the Castle Cup, and and very looking forward about that. Harry, 18 Palms, a horse that you managed to to win on last time. That was a, a good tidy win in the end. It was. Got a lovely run, um, had a nice light weight on his back, and um, he put the race to bed well. He looks Harry like he always travels well throughout his races. I know he probably hasn't been the easiest to, to sort of train and handle for, for Danny and the team, but throughout his races, he always looks like he's quite a nice ride. He is. He's pretty straightforward. You know, he, um, for, for a jockey, he, he relaxes nicely, uh, but at the same time, he travels well. The only thing I will say is just once he comes off the bridle in the straight, he does have a tendency to hang in, um, and he's just 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 running around under pressure which shows me he's got a little bit more up his sleeve he looks the type harry that likes to get that bit of cover and, and sort of pounce late as you say he's drawn three so that puts you in a good spot it does yeah we got got every reason to get a nice position in the race and um yeah hopefully goes goes nice and smoothly with, with, with a nice lead he's got a bit more weight on his back naturally but uh, he sort of he hasn't been overly raced do you think there's a bit more still to come from him yeah, I think he does. As I uh, alluded to a moment ago, he's a horse that just runs around under pressure and he was still able to win quite comfortably last time. So I expect that there's more to come from him. Yes, he's got a little bit more weight on his back, but I don't think that's going to be a massive problem. Have you had a chance to sit on him since um, since that win? Yeah, I've done a couple of bits of work on him and um, feels like he came out of that race well and I just hope he's taken another step forward.